Our forum team has been in Kisumu waiting for the union, um, the unions to start the negotiation. Unfortunately, uh, while the negotiating team is still sitting in Kisumu waiting, none of the unions have appeared. Specifically, UASU, that was supposed to, to start the negotiations for the first three days, did not appear. When yesterday I learned that the unions were reluctant to leave for Kisumu, and that they were in Nairobi. I actually attempted to call them to have consultations with me, and I invited the vice chancellors who were near here, because I thought we needed to make the, the to show them the goodwill that the universities had and the confirmation from the ministry that we wanted these negotiations to be fast tracked. But they didn't turn up. It was very critical for us, as I said, uh, to avert the threatened industrial action by the unions, but unfortunately, um, the unions did not show up for the scheduled meeting despite of the fact that they were around. The said union, very sadly, and I say very sadly, went ahead yesterday to release a joint press statement launching a, U a nationwide industrial action on seven grounds. One other thing happened soon after they said they wanted the negotiating figures and we said it's in Kisumu because you don't, you, do, you, don't, you, you don't negotiate outside the round table. So we had, required, we had expected that the unions would travel to Kisumu and start negotiating. And this is what we are going to appeal, in fact, at the end of this, that if they don't move, then we, nothing can be moved. But number three is the shifting, again, that was done when the union announced that actually they had wanted yesterday to meet the Minister of Finance and myself, but they did not turn up when I invited them for the meeting. The third shifting is in, contained in their own letter announcement yesterday. The announcement that they made yesterday included this phrase that I have read to you that says that I have read that says that they would like to negotiate the min with the Ministry of Planning. Now, of, uh, sorry, the Ministry of Public Service. Now, the Ministry of Public Service is the host of the new commission, which is taking us back to the letter of the head of public service. So if in their communication, if truly they would like to negotiate with the Ministry of Public Service, it therefore means that the unions will have to wait for the commission to be formally instituted because that's not been done. So that is one area that has given us a lot of problems as a ministry because you are following one direction and then the direction is changed, you follow that and then the direction is changed. I would really like to appeal to these three unions that the only way for us to deal with the salaries, if we must deal with them before the commission is formed, is for them to go to the negotiating table. Our unions should not always look for strikes as a way out. Strikes are not a way out. We are, we are a nation that can dialogue. Our universities have been willing to dialogue. Our university councils have been willing to dialogue. As far as we are concerned as a ministry, we have talked to both groups, and the universities have shown a lot of goodwill. Now that it has been announced that the strike is legal, is that they go back to, 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 to class, for those who are going to class, the non-teaching members of staff go back and do, and do their jobs while we wait for negotiations to restart.